Hello, welcome to another LEGO review. This is LEGO Set 7655, LEGO Star Wars Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Uh, released at the same time as also another Battle Droid Battle Pack. We'll see that in the booklet in a sec. Uh, side of the box, 30th anniversary Star Wars. And the other side, you know, I do like this. You know, every once in a while, LEGO Star Wars sets have this sort of motif kind of change, but still keep with the same theme. And, and uh, I didn't like the episode 3 Darth Vader too much, I didn't like the white sort of clone trooper style too much, but I like this one, this one's kind of cool. Uh, maybe because this red colour really um, contrasts with the green forest underneath, so that, that's pretty cool. Top of the box, bottom of the box, and back of the box. And it doesn't actually... Annoying though, this box doesn't actually tell you what figures they are. you got two clone troopers episode 3, you got a red and yellow ones, I guess the red one would be like Captain, Commander... Same as the yellow one as well. Oh, well. Damn it, tripod. So, here's the booklet. Uh, that's the first page. Let's take a look at the. Uh, a lot of adverts in here. I mean, some of these poses, mini posters, do look pretty nice. So, you got a Battle Droid uh, pack, which actually does look really good, even the speed on the back. And you get the. Uh, the little hover bikes that they have. Got the Stormtrooper pack right there. And uh, let me just say, if I actually wanted to hear Battle Droids, that set looks way better than the Clone Trooper one. Got these different ships. Uh, we have here. Doesn't really make sense to have Grand Moff talking here, but I guess he is in episode 4, so um, yay. And this Desert Jabba's Desert Cell, which, um, this is pretty much the era of all LEGO Star Wars figures getting the new flesh coloured skin but still have the old printing that doesn't really look like them. Like Luke doesn't really look like Luke, Han doesn't really look like Han and all the non-generic uh, figure pieces are not painted. Uh, the Stormtrooper helmets are but like you know Jabba is still just green, Boba Fett still can't move his head and you know the, the Gomorian guard is still just same colour. In the back you see some of the setting, same sets advertised again. Why Lego? We only saw the effort in the thing that we bought from you. Why need to advertise it twice? But uh, anyway, um, first piece you get in the set is this speeder bike, and I gotta say, this is just terrible. Uh, I really hate this speeder bike. Like, I mean, at this end it looks alright, but then when, when you look closer, it's like, what the hell happened? Um, they have these two sort of bits plugged in there from like fire extinguishers, just stuck in there as handlebars, which uh, kudos for making something different, I guess, but it, they don't. They fall off really easy when you pull the like pull the stormtrooper away from the handle, so they fall off quite easily, and that's really annoying. The whole bike is just. It's cool you can set two people there, but it's just tiny and just really unimpressive. It's just kind of like, ugh. Um, and I know as battle packs usually go, the vehicle or whatever comes with it, kind of, you know, you're gonna guarantee that it's gonna not be very good because you're here for the minifigures, let's be honest, but um, yeah, this might be the worst battle back vehicle I've uh, messed with. Um, well, you know, you know, it's better than the uh, clone walker battle back, that scout walker, but uh, it's, it's down there. But you do get this little uh, cannon, like little gun turret piece, and this one's actually really good. I really like this. This is really well designed. Such a simple piece. It's built very effectively. I really like this. Like, I can happily have a few of these instead of that bike. Uh, so this one's really good. I, no complaints there. Then you have uh, the clone troopers. So you have two of these normal ones. A helmet again just has the holes in there. Painted. Not quite normal actually. Um, still don't agree with this hole in the helmet. Whatever. That's what they've done. Torso is pretty much the same as uh, Stormtroopers. It's just a black head underneath because for the visor. They just they just didn't they just want an excuse so they don't have to uh, print uh, Django Fed face in there I guess. You have two commanders. You got the yellow one. I'm sure, Star Wars hardcore fans can tell me who this is. Uh, the yellow is actually printed slightly off center on the nose area, so that's annoying. And uh, same torso design just with. Uh, with, with the yellow bits and this little strap there. Back has a little strap thing going on as well. And then you have the red one. Which looks pretty cool, I think. Um, aside from 
you know, that's just, look, we can do so little to make it different. <laughs> the front is pretty cool though. Helmet too, it's pretty cool. So that's the Clone Trooper Battle Pack, and our uh, well, second Clone Trooper Battle Pack that I reviewed. Uh, this one is better than the Episode 2 Clone Trooper Battle Pack with this little walker. Just for... I mean the bike isn't as bad as that walker, because that walker can't even walk without falling over. But this, you can't really fall over, like it functions. And you can hold two people in there. You also have a little stand, which I think is just excellent. Like, it's such a simple, small piece, but it looks really good, so that's great. And you get four decent clone troopers. If, uh, you know, if you're looking for clone troopers, uh, this was a pretty decent pack to pick up. Uh, so, yeah, subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and take care, and have a nice day. Bye.